I definitely recommend joining a liquor accord. I've found it a really supportive network of people. Definitely encourage people to join a liquor accord or if they haven't got a liquor accord, uh, maybe get together and talk about getting one started. You should join a liquor accord and, uh, and also being a member of a liquor accord, it shows the purpose. I was motivated to join mainly because I wanted to um, be part of the community input into making our venues a lot safer. And being a member of the Liquor Accord has been really rewarding. It's given me a chance to network with other venue managers, the community and police and, li and liquor licensing and um, all get on the same page of where we want to be. I think it's good for licensees to get together, talk about local issues, come up with good ideas and uh, keep their area safe for everybody to enjoy. We started with four venues, we have grown to 21. Our liquor record compiled a banning notice that if we had a few undesirables coming into different venues and they weren't happy, we could get together and put a banning notice out and ban them for say six months, five months or even 12 months. Not from one venue, from the whole 21 venues that are associated with the accord. The training is very important, so we need to uh, make people understand what their responsibilities are, certainly not just in the venue, but certainly in and around. And again, it's another thing we focus on through the liquor accords, so uh, making sure we've got that safe environment in and around our premises. I think the three main achievements for our liquor accord in Harvey Bay is to support each other um, in creating um, safe venues for our patrons, as well as creating a good communication channel so we can all communicate really clearly about um, any issues we're having in the community. And, and thirdly, yes, just supporting the community and keeping it safe for everybody.